Hi all, welcome to Lifery Workshop. So in this part of the tutorial, I will try to explain how to do event based inter portlet communication between portlets in Lifery 7 that is, or Lifery DXP. So to, to demonstrate this, I will be needing one sender portlet and another receiver portlet. So for that, I have created two different modules. IPC event based receiver and IPC event based sender portlets. So just to reiterate how to create modules, you can do a right click, new, live remodule project. So let's start to see the code. I go to the sender portlet which we I have already created. I go to resources where in the view.jsp I have already created the form needed for the sender portlet. So what I am basically creating is I will be sending a message via sender portlet and receiver portlet will receive it through event based inter portlet communication. For this let's see the code. Here I have imported the required APIs, the implicit objects of Liferay. Then I have created an action URL which I will be needed to submit the form. Then this is simple, uh, simple form consisting of just one input message input element which will be uh, where we can write our message and then the submit but button which will be submitting to this particular action URL. So once we submit this it will go to the portlet action class let's open it so I go here basically this is our portlet action class so let's start looking into the code. Here I have simply created a portlet action class extending MVC portlet. And to register it in OHI container, I have uh, used the regular component tag and service as portlet class. Now all other properties which I am using here are the regular properties of the portlet like in which category it has to go, whether the uh, portlet is instanceable uh, and is names, namespace required, ejectable, name of the portlet and all those things. So one important thing which we need to consider here is since we are using in, uh, event based inter portlet communication, we need to add this particular property as well. Now if you remember, initially when we were using in previous versions of Liferay, basically we were writing in the sender portlet, portlet in the portlet.xml we were writing a tag called support publish event, wherein we were defining the qualified name along with the, uh, the property which we want to, uh, the parameter which we want to send. Uh, uh, for interportlet communication. Similar, similarly for the receiver portlet, we were doing the same in the portlet.xml. We were using instead of publishing, we were using supported processing event tag, and therein we were using the same qualified name and the same uh, parameter name which we wanted to uh, get inside the receiver portlet. So now here. Since we are not using portlet.xml, we will have to use this particular tab that is javax.portlet.supported publishing event and then the parameter name and then the qualified name. This will, uh, in, in the sender portlet, this will be publishing and the 
uh, receiver port here, it will be processing. Now let's come to the code. So once this pro, uh, action is submitted, this will come to uh, this send message action uh, URL message method. So you can see in the first line of the code, I am just getting the send parameter from the request, just printing it through an SOP. And then I am creating a qualified name with the uh, namespace parameter and the parameter which I want to send. So once the qualified name is created, uh, this is the important thing which you have to understand. We have to use action response dot set event method to set the event which you want to send. Here the event uh, since we have created the qualified name, so we will be putting it here uh, along with this the parameter which we want to send. So this will be the code which we have to write. Uh, right in uh, the sender portlet. Let's come to the receiver portlet. So this is basically the receiver portlet. Let me close this first. So in receiver portlet, once the event is submitted from the sender portlet, it, it reads the process event method in this case like unlike the other cases like in this uh, uh, like we use render or process action but in the case of processing event we have to use process event method so uh, before coming to that just this is also a simple action class when we have used almost the same parameters so these parameters will be according to the portlet which you are creating the name of the portlet and other things and this is the thing which we need to write here as well for sub, uh, supporting the processing event so it is like javax.portlet.supported processing event in the uh, sending one it was publishing it here it is processing event. and then again the parameter name and the uh, qualified name. So uh, let's come to the uh, method which I have written process event method. So once it is submitted the event is submitted in the center portlet it comes directly to this method and here in the first line of code I am getting the event from the request by request dot get event method. So once we get the event me event method we will check whether uh, the event for which we want to process the logic if, if it is the same why we are doing this there may be multiple event calls so maybe there may be a different event method with uh, other other parameter name like sent sms or sent phone number or whatever so since our parameter is sent message we need to and we need to write the logic regarding the same so I am checking this so after this I am simply writing a SOP and getting the event value using event uh, dot get value method so once I get this uh, value of this um, event I am just setting it in a render parameter so that I can get get this into my form of this receiver portal. So let's go to the form. So this is the form of the receiver portlet and you can see there's nothing much but just some uh, APIs which we need to import the default implicit object needed. And then here I am getting the uh, event from the event message from the request parameter which I have already set in action method. So I am getting it and I am just displaying it in my AUR. So let's run it and see how does it work. So let's deploy both of these portlets. Go to sender. Deploy. Mm 
then receiver and then reply so once it is deployed I go to my browser refresh it add the portlets You can see both these portlets appear here. I just add both of these. Just let's let's send some message. I click the send button, and you can see in the receiver portlet my message is now appear. So this is the way how we can achieve interportlet communication through events in Liferay 7. Thank you. Meet you again into the next tutorial. Until then, bye.